The nonprofit Edison Wetlands Association, or EWA, founded its environmental justice program in 2002. Since then, EWA has helped dozens of disadvantaged communities across New Jersey and beyond with getting toxic sites cleaned up to protect their families' health and safety. EWA empowers communities through technical guidance, site investigations, file reviews, public outreach, and media guidance, all free of charge. Among the sites EWA has helped include the Concerned Citizens Coalition of Long Branch. This coalition formed in 2002 after many residents became ill from fumes emanating from the initial excavation of the contaminated soil on the site of the former Long Branch manufactured gas plant. Thanks to the direct assistance of the Edison Wetlands Association, the community was relocated and their homes cleaned up and rebuilt, and the toxic Troutman's Creek was fully remediated and restored with native plants where fish and crabs now thrive and fishermen can now fish and crab safely. According to the coalition's executive director, Avery Grant, our coalition needed tremendous support to be able to be effective. Through the support of EWA, our work has been recognized in the state and nationally. Another site EWA has helped to remediate is the Ringwood Superfund site. The honorable and proud Ramapo Mountain Tribe has long suffered staggering rates of premature deaths, rare cancers, and autoimmune diseases believed to be linked to the toxic waste dumped in their community in the 1960s and 70s. Since EWA began helping residents in late 2004, over 47,000 cubic tons of toxic sludge have been removed, six times the amount removed in the previous 30 years combined. A recent project that EWA has taken on is the Cancer Plume in Pompton Lakes, New Jersey. The residents of Pompton Lakes have been struggling with the legacy of DuPont's plant since evidence of chemical contamination became prevalent years ago. While many in this community have died or have suffered from illnesses, it was difficult for them to receive help or get answers until Edison Wetlands stepped in. And with their guidance, we've actually seen a major change in our community as far as involvement and as far as response from the responsible parties and other agencies such as the DEP and the EPA. They've opened up doors for us. Um, they've gave, given us direction, where to go, who to contact. And like I said, with their past reputation, um, had a, has a lot to do with where we are today. EWA has made a difference in many other towns, including New Brunswick, Camden, Newark, Bloomfield, and Trenton. If you or someone you know live in a toxic community and would like to make a difference by seeking environmental justice, contact Edison Wetlands Association at ewainfo at edisonwetlands.org or call us by phone at 732-321-1300.